And earlier, the presidents of China and the U.S. held a meeting on the sidelines of the nuclear summit. Let's get more on that from CCTV's Nathan King. He's live at the Washington Convention Center where the two leaders met. Nathan? Yeah, Mike, thanks. You know, what unites us is more than what divides us. That was the message from both U.S. President Barack Obama and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. They talked about cooperation over many global issues, including the nuclear deal with Iran and also the latest sanctions on the DPRK of their nuclear tests, both of which, of course, play very heavily into the nuclear security summit. They were shrugging off differences uh, over the South China Sea, sovereignty claims over cyber security as well. And they even had a couple of announcements that they made off their bilateral meeting. Let's take a look. I want to welcome President Xi back to Washington. The world's two biggest economies are around the same table. And while this summit is all about nuclear security, China and the U.S. are talking about all aspects of their relationship. World economic growth is sluggish. The terrorist threat is on the rise as the largest developing country and the largest developed country, and also as the world's top two economies, China and the United States have growing responsibilities for promoting world peace, stability, and prosperity. Uh, I have been committed throughout my administration to working effectively with China on a whole range of issues and uh, have developed a, a frank uh, and effective uh, level of communications cooperation with President Xi as we seek to expand cooperation between our countries. And an announcement by Washington and Beijing that they will sign the Paris Climate Convention agreed to late last year at the earliest possible date, encouraging the rest of the world to live up to their commitments and cementing both countries as world leaders on the issue. I'm glad that this time the two sides have issued the third joint statement on climate change, and we have announced that we will both sign the Paris Agreement on April 22nd. Also a joint statement on the issue at hand, nuclear security. Both countries pledging cooperation on converting nuclear reactors that use highly enriched uranium to low enriched uranium, which can't be used to make weapons. The conversions will take place in China, but also in Ghana and Nigeria. The U.S. and China also committed to work together to halt nuclear smuggling. On the Democratic People's Republic of Korea's illegal nuclear weapons program, both sides emphasized their cooperation on imposing new sanctions on Pyongyang. That issue was at the forefront during a bilateral meeting between President Xi and South Korea's President Park, and also at a trilateral meeting with the U.S., Japan and the Republic of Korea. Seoul warned that further actions by Pyongyang would lead to yet more consequences. The international community will by no means condone the DPRK's provocation, and should it choose to undertake yet another provocation, it is certain to find itself facing even tougher sanctions and isolation. Yeah, this deal uh, between the U.S. and China over the nuclear reactors and converting them from highly enriched uranium uh, to low enriched uranium is really important because Asia really is going to be the center of growth in the nuclear civilian industry over the next few decades. Lots of uh, power stations being constructed partly uh, as a reaction to climate change as well. And more controversially, uh, Asian nuclear powers are actually growing nuclear powers as well. Remember, China is surrounded by a lot of nuclear powers, Russia to the north, of course, India, Pakistan, uh, and the DPRK. So it's very important that China is front and center when it comes to stopping these illicit smuggling uh, attempts as well that we're seeing here center stage at the Nuclear Security Summit. Lots more to come. A fully packed day on Friday, too. Back to you, Mike. Yeah, they're going to keep you busy, Nathan. Thanks so much.